Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to check out Martial Law. And Martial Law is a free game about communism in Poland back in the day, and it really, really intrigued me. I've been wanting to play it for a while because technically I am part Polish, uh, and uh, so, you know, I really wanted to try it out. I kind of get some perspective of it because this game is based on, like I said, communism in Poland back in the day. So we're going to just jump into it. We're going to be playing the whole game, uh, and uh, I'm very, very excited. Excited. So we're just jumping into it. I have no idea what to expect. So um, uh, Polish People's Republic December of 1981. So that's when this uh, game takes place here Okay, so we're in an apartment. Are we moving around or is it a cutscene? Uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve uh, How time flies I need it to get my daughter something for Christmas. Dialogue's going a little bit slow, but you know what? We'll do it. She had been telling me about this doll from East Germany for several months now. So do we get the doll? Is that what this thing is right now? I'm glad I was able to finally afford it. Okay, so we bought we bought her a doll. I like it. I like it. Obviously, it took probably several months to get it. Okay, I'll also try to get her favorite candy and tangerines. What? I didn't get a ration card for my tangerines. Curiosity in the Polish People's Republic, if you want to buy food, you must have a ration card and money. Without a ra ration card, it's practically impossible to buy food in stores due to the shortages of goods because it would cost much more money. Huh. Okay, so we didn't get a ration card. Oh, no, it must be some kind of mistake, I think. No, it's not. So we got the doll. So why don't we have a ration card here? This is gonna be the worst Christmas ever. I hope she'll forgive. I hope she'll forgive me. I miss her so much. So are we like divorced? I hope her mother will let me see her today. So I'm assuming we're div divorced or something. Okay, so we can jump around, press E to go in the doors here. So what is this here? Oh, is this to go outside? It's snowing. Okay, here. Let me. Okay. Well, we're outside here. So it's snowing here. Hello, comrade. Long time no see. Would you like to discuss some important matters? Uh, sure. I need to relax. How about we discuss even more important matters now? Um, sure. Let's do so. One more hit. So this guy's obviously drunk. Hick. Uh, of course. Oh, it was a nice debate. I got an achievement. Oh, the end? <laughs> Wait. So I just I just got too drunk, I guess. I just got too drunk. So I was just a drunk with a homeless person. Okay, so unfortunately that's not allowed what we're supposed to do. Um you know I don't do that anymore. We're not drinking here. We're not drinking. And I'm assuming I can't go into the things here. Can I talk with people here? Probably just only specific people. Oh, this guy has a card I need. But these people? Or Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry for bothering you. I really do need this tangerine card. What for? You really think I care? Please, sir, I would not bother you if it wasn't important. Leave me alone. Are you drunk? I promise I'm not. Please just listen. What do you need this card so badly for? So we could either say it's for my daughter. I can't afford these without the card. Um, yeah, we'll say that. How old is your daughter, comrade? She's almost 12. Why isn't she with you? She's with her mother. She won't let me see her much. I want to make our Christmas meeting special. Poor child. She could use some tangerines for Christmas for sure. Will you get anything else for her? I'm sure you have more on your mind. Um, I wish I could be a better father one day and afford all the tangerines in the world just for her. I can tell you're trying your best. I am a complete stranger to you. Maybe I am one of the bad guys. I do hope you are not. Haha. -ha. Damn, you made me feel guilty. Look at how good of a father you're trying to be. Why is that? I just realized that my mother has to spend Christmas Eve alone. How about your father? My father is... He, he's out of the picture. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I understand. Oh, I have a proposal and a request at the same time. Huh? I'll give you Mandarin cards and more. Jump in to help my mother see if she's missing something before Chris... Oh, jump in to help my mother see if she's missing something before Christmas. Um, sure, she definitely needs some help. I'll come over to help. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll all offer to help. Thank you so much, comrade. I'm sure I'll pay you back somehow. Where does your mother live? The next block, the first door, it's easy to find. Won't your mother be scared that a stranger has come to her? You have a good heart, so I don't think I have to worry about it. You can do it. Merry Christmas. We'll see you again. So, 
Um, Puix was a chain of shops founded in 1972 during the communist era in Poland that accepted payment only in United States dollars and other hard currencies instead of the country's indigenous currency, the Zloty. Uh, Puix was the only source to get goods that were not available in Poland at the time, like electronics from the West. But I guess we can't go in because we didn't, um... We don't have the card yet. So, first thing, so it's, it's this, it's this room here. I didn't ask which house number that is or what's her name. How do I find her now? Well, can I just leave? I can't. Uh, curfew 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay. Um. Oh, is this her? We just picked the right one. Excuse me. Good morning. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a certain woman. I have to help her with. I'm a distant. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we're gonna say that I'm her distant family member, and I came to visit. Huff, can you tell me something more about her? Lonely old woman, no husband. Her son has no time for her. Um, this asshole. You probably mean Janina. She lives next to us. There. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Xmas. What a mean crone. Okay, so we knock on the door. Who's there? Uh, your son sent me. Son? Yes, he said he has no time to help you with Christmas and sent me. Uh, he never has time. Who are you anyway? I am his his good friend from work. How do you know I know? How do I know if you're not a thief? Uh, sorry, I'm afraid I am not his friend. He asked me to help with this organization in exchange for a card for tangerines. I lost mine and I wanted to buy my little daughter a few. She loves them. Come in. I'm Janina. Gen Call me Janaya. I know it's not those years anymore, but at least I will rejuvenate myself a bit. You really believe me now and aren't afraid? I have nothing to lose. You just want to help. Sorry for this introduction. I am Stanaska. Uh, come inside. I have uh, to close the door so this kitchen kitten doesn't run away. It's really cozy in here. <laughs> meow. <laughs> what a cute kitten. Aw. It just keeps meowing. What a weird feeling. Something is wrong? No, I, I don't think so. I just, I don't remember having so many people here for a long time. There's just the two of us and a cat. Did he just, never mind. That's right, only my cat is here for me. What about your son? Uh, aw, what, so if, if she was really down the block, why would he not visit? Right? Like, that's kind of, it's kind of, kind of silly, right? Oh, I did not mean to... I don't know, that's kind of weird. Uh, my son's a busy man, has his own family, an important job to take care of. Yeah, his job. Anyways, I can expect him to care much about me, and since my husband's dead, I can't get myself to open up. I'm so sorry for your loss. What happened to him? If you don't mind telling me, of course. I, I don't... It's closing! What, what's going on? They're closing the fish headquarters! Can you get me a cart from fish headquarters, please? Not a problem, but will you tell me the story once I get back? Of course! I owe you that much. You did so much for me already. I just offered to help. No one's done that in a long time. So carp is still a classic Christmas Eve dish in Poland. It is one of the easiest fish to breed while being quite large. So it was the antidote introduced by government um, for food shortages. So we're gonna go get some. We're gonna go get some uh, carp here. Oh, I almost forgot. Tell them it's for Janaya. They will understand. Okay, easy enough. So we're off to uh, go get some good old carp here. I'm assuming it's just down this way here. Oh, party gibberish is not information. Oh, party gibberish is not information. Was that the government? Oi, don't you have any dollars to sell? I, I don't. Ugh. Interesting fact, um, Chinak's name from distorted change money is a colloquially old term for people who dealt with hard currency in times of the People's Republic of Poland, that is dollars. Although the practice was illegal, the authorities turned a blind eye and even cooperated with them. See, it's just so interesting learning about this. Same for when we played Black Book for Russian Slavic folklore. This is really cool because, you know, technically I am Polish, so it's, it's really interesting because I don't really have any roots to, <laughs> to that, right? So I guess this is a line. Oh, I guess I have to wait. So we're waiting in line for fish here. <gasps> Everything all right? Miss, can you hear me? What? What happened? Where am I? You, you fainted. We're, we're near the fish headquarters. Damn, I, I can't tell. I'm, I'm too I tired and old for this. This is the fourth queue I'm standing in today and I can't get all the things I need for Christmas. You know what? Stay here and I'll take care of it for you. Re really? Thank you so much, mister. Okay, so we're gonna go in. 
I don't know how I'm supposed to buy this though if I don't have money. Oh, I guess I said Janaya. Uh, is is everything all right with the lady you helped? Yeah, sh she'll live. H how can I help you, sir? Uh, two cart, please. One of them is for Janaina. She told me you will understand. And the second one is for this lady I helped. I told her to get some rest outside. Here you go. Uh, what about the payment? The world is missing the people with good heart like yours. We had some extra anyway. I don't know what to say. Nothing at all, comrade. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Okay, so you know what? Overall, so far, the people being wholesome. Probably because we're being very helpful and and wholesome and nice and stuff, right? So where's this? Where, where'd the lit? Where'd the li Oh, is this the lady here? There's your promised carp. Oh my, thank you so much, mister. My name is Zofia. It's great to meet you. Of course, it's great to meet you too. Are you getting things ready for Christmas too? Yeah, these are not for me. I'm helping an old lady. Oh, what a cute doll. What's it for? It's it's for my daughter. She was asking for it for a long time. You you got a daughter? What a good father you must be. Yeah, she's she's not living with me. Anyway, long story. How are you feeling? A, a lot better. Thank you. I have to run. Got a lot of things to take care of. See you around. Wait, how can I repay you? No need. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Oh, it's interesting because here in the U.S. we say Merry Christmas. I just realized they're saying Happy Christmas. So, okay. So we're heading over to um, to, to bring back the uh, the fish here. I'm waiting for something to go awry. Quite honestly. But I don't know. Maybe this is just a good old wholesome game about communism and Poland. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's the- why is the cat out? Is that the, is that the cat? And what are you doing here? Yeah, what- <laughs> what was I expecting? Come on, let me take you home. We just have the cat in our inventory now. Oh, back already? I'm just changing my accents like a million times in this. I don't do good accents. <laughs> yes, and I got your cat. Hey, buddy, don't explain yourself to me. There's your owner. I wanted to go out and check the board, but I probably forgot to close the door. Oh, I forgot to give you the money to buy the car. I figured it out without it. Funny story. Come on in. You're going to tell me everything. Don't run away from me anymore, bad kitten. It's not too heavy, is it, the car? No, he's just moving around too much. Wants to run away. Wait, give it to me. I'll put it in the bathtub. Oh, is it a live carp? What? Why would it be a live carp? Or I guess to keep it fresh, right? I guess that makes sense. Okay, now tell me what happened. So, wait! I'll make us some tea. How wholesome of a lady this is. Three cups of tea later. And then I found your kitten outside. It was the most interesting story about buying a carp I've heard so far. I wasn't expecting such an adventure too. Oh, I wasn't expecting such an adventure too. Haha, ha. you promised to tell me more about your husband. Henrik was a soldier of the home army. I was a liaison officer. That's how we met. He was hitting on me at every occasion. Can't lie, he was handsome, but I liked his caring personality the most. It was pretty rare during the war. During the war, there was no time for love. It was impossible to predict if you would live to see tomorrow. Once the war was finally over, he proposed to me. I was so happy. Then Zbigniew was born. Uh, you know him already. It was just perfect, too perfect. The brig brigade commander was invited to meet the government. It was suspicious because the government was fighting the soldiers of the Polish underground state, claiming that they had collaborated with the enemy. Obviously, they were not. But Henrik went there anywhere. He never came back. It was all a trap. They got arrested. He was tortured, and then he died. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. You don't have to say anything, darling. I just I just miss him a lot. But I am much better now. Better? How so? I needed someone to talk to for a while. It is one of the best Christmas gifts I could get. Thank you. Not not a problem at all. I who who could it be? Okay, someone's knocking on the door here. Merry Christmas, Mom! Oh, I wasn't expecting you here today. I know, but I had a lot of time to think. I have something for you, but I'll give it to you later. You shouldn't have. Oh, I see Staniska came to help. Damn, I'll be going because it's late and I still have to do some shopping for my daughter. Promise you'll visit me sometimes. I promise. Thank you for today. Okay, so are we going to get the... Uh, 
Wait up, as promised a card for tangerines, and come over after Christmas, I think I can find you a pretty decent job. See you then. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, thank you. Of course, Merry Christmas, Janai. Merry Christmas. Okay, I guess they are saying Merry Christmas. I guess it was just Happy Christmas. So we got our, we got our little tangerine token here. Still waiting for something to happen. Once again, maybe this is just a wholesome... Yeah, I don't know. I maybe shouldn't have waited so long. Is this place even going to be open? See, I don't think it's going to be open. Unless I buy them tomorrow. I guess I'm just going back to my house. What? Oh, I can punch? Why can I punch? Okay, well... I know I'm supposed to be getting the tangerines, but I didn't feel like I could. But I don't know, maybe I missed something, or maybe there's another store or something like that, I don't know. Let's go walk back over here. Is it gonna let me in? Is it gonna let me in? What do I gotta do here? Okay, so not... Maybe I just gotta keep going to the right? I don't know. It obviously was I'm supposed to use this here. But I don't know, maybe we're just supposed to keep going to the right. I don't know, maybe there's a different store or something like that. Maybe we're just checking uh, to see if there's like a different store open or something like that. Okay, I'm all these people just standing under the lights. I, I assume these are from the military, right? So here's the fish factory. We obviously don't need to go to the fish factory. We want to be going to... Uh, by tangerines. Oh, wait a minute. That store supposedly was just to sell, like, what, imported goods? So maybe there's a separate store. There's probably a separate store, quite honestly. Which is probably what we're, we're going to. It's really pretty seeing the snow and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Here's a supermarket here. Um, Central Park Duv at uh, CPN. At that time, CPN was the only source for obtaining fuel or lubricants because it had exclusivity for sale. At its peak, it had over 1,400 fuel stations and a fleet of almost 600 road tankers. Okay, so we'll wait in line here. Now it's finally our turn. I'll have some tangerines, please. There is my card. Tangerines for Christmas are sure a great choice, comrade. These are for my daughter. <laughs> Mothers, you know. Uh, she won't let me see her when I'm trying to visit. She was always like this. I should have known the first day we met. But man, she was, she was such a great woman back then. She had so much passion to make the world a better place for our baby and my daughter. She deserves the world. Such a smart child. She certainly didn't inherit it from me. I'm just a stupid worker. Sir, there, there's a line behind you, please. Stop talking. Please, sir, leave. Yeah, I mean, what am I thinking? Why does this guy want to hear my whole life story? He does not want to hear my whole life story. Damn, I forgot candies. I think I could help. Oh, is it the lady from earlier? I think that we helped with the carp, right? Oh, look at you. Hello. Hello, take this for your little one. Rumors spread fast. I already know about your ex-wife. Did you do an investigation? Well, let's call it an accident. Thank you very much. How can I repay you? I should be the one returning a favor for the morning situation, but if you ask, I'll take the opportunity. Do you want to spend Christmas together? I would probably spend it alone anyway. Yeah, sure. I'm glad. See you on Christmas Day. Wait, wait, where, where do you want to meet up? Calm down. I'll find you. What? That is, that's kind of sketch. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of sketch. But we have the candies, we have the tangerine, and we have the doll, so... Everything is going according to plan, here. Everything is going according to plan. We just got to make our way back home, wake up tomorrow, and uh, be happy. Also, they are missing the tops of their head. They are missing <laughs> the tops of their head. Oh. Oh. Okay, I am not supposed to go left. Game does not want me to go left. I don't know why I wouldn't be going left, because that is where my home is. Uh, but you know what? Maybe this is, uh, what game is it where it's like looping around, or if you go to the right side of the screen, you come out the left side of the screen? Maybe that's Poland, right? I don't know. I've never been, never been to Poland. But it just wants us to keep going right, so... 
What? Oh. Dude, this is how Poland works. What did I tell you? <laughs> Don't worry, man. You got this. Oh, unless is this my daughter? Oh, okay. I guess they're letting... I thought he said... I thought he said that I wasn't allowed to spend time with my daughter. Hello. Hello, Goshia. What the hell do you want? Mom, who's that? She's my daughter, too. Please, Goshia, it's Christmas. I miss you both a lot. Fine, just promise you'll be leaving soon. I promise. What What kind of... What? Daddy! Uh, hello, baby. Dad came to give you your Christmas gift. Oh, thank you. What's wrong, baby? Uh, dad... Oh, dad, so she's saying, Dad, why, why did you cheat on Mom? I'm old enough to know and she refuses to tell me. What? Why would you lie to her like that? W what are you talking about? I would never cheat on you. You cheated on me. Shh, not in front of the child. She is not a child anymore. She deserves to know. Your mommy left me because she found herself a good member of the Communist Party. You need to leave. No, you need to tell her the truth. Here, baby, I got you these. The doll you wanted some candy and tangerines. Thank you, Dad. Uh, I'll, I will explain everything. Listen, baby, I was and am still a very bad mother for wanting to turn you against your father. I was just confused. Confused? Are you serious? I avoided my dad because you lied. Okay, translation is not the very best, but whatever. I know, I know, but you weren't supposed to know. Are you kidding me? Listen, I don't care about that relationship anymore. I only care about my daughter. You need to let me see her more or I will be taking her with me. C can we talk in private? Sure, but you need to promise me we will explain everything to her after we are done. I promise. Baby, go and play outside. Why are we gonna... It's very... It's like nighttime. Why are we gonna have her go play outside? I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's the play. Look, the guy I'm with now has a lot more money and he can give Marla a great future. What? You don't believe our child would be able to achieve her goals without some stranger's money? She is smart and talented. Did you hear her singing? I know she can sing. She is special, but she needs the money. Money will not save her from the trauma that you've caused. I, I, I know. Please come over to see her anytime you want. She deserves to have a father, a real father. What about us? Do you see us getting back together? No, I'm sorry. No need to be sorry, I already knew that. Let's just try to give our daughter the best life she can possibly have. Sure, let's do this. Here, take this. I was supposed to spend it on tangerines, but I talked too much to the cashier, and she asked me to leave before I paid. Ha, that sounds like something you could do. I know, right? So those were the days, my comrades. So, huh. Okay, so you know what, we'll so we got an ending and that's it. Okay, so we're starting from the very beginning. I'm gonna just take some whack choices here. So this obviously we're gonna say I don't do that anymore. There's gotta be something else to this game, right? I mean, either way, that was still very wholesome, right? That was very wholesome. Um, kind of like a very real story, right? Um, okay, so I think we can try... Um, what do you think I care? Please, sir, I would not bother if it wasn't important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna just steal the card. What the hell are you doing? Oh! Oh, we're turning it into a- we're turning it into a fighting game! Okay. Okay, okay, guys, guys, we got this, we got this. I did not expect this to turn into a fighting game. I did not expect this to turn into a fighting game. Ah! Okay, okay, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. We got this. Uh, militia men, catch him now! Careful, militia's coming from the left. Go behind the pu- Oh, lady from the store says, Careful, militia's coming from the left. Go behind the Puicks. Okay, what? Go behind the Puick, so we're going behind- I don't know what we're doing here. But we just fought that guy, dude. Okay, okay, then we're gonna get a very drastic thing behind the Puicks here. Here! Uh, ta Tadus, I see that you're quite a wrestler, comrade. Eh, it's not like that. Everyone says so. Also, where's my manners? I am Tadus. I am Stanaska. They almost caught me. I've seen that, but they are not too smart. But in broad daylight during working hours, fight under Puix? This is for my daughter. For daughter? Ah, uh, yeah, I wanted to buy her tangerines for Christmas, but I lost my card. I saw that he had it. It was sticking out of his pocket. I just wanted to ask if maybe he would give up one assignment, but he turned out to be a bum, and that's how it turned out. I'll, I'll do everything for my little girl. 
Son, what did they do to you? Oh no, that's that old lady. Oh no, it's the old lady that we like had a wholesome interaction with previously. Oh no. I can tell he is fine. Was he someone important? More of a lucky guy. He managed to get into the party and is having fun. His father has been dead for a long time. Why? He was a former home army captain. Former is a good word. He survived the war, but it means nothing. They tore. Wait! Wait a minute. So is that my. That's her. De Wait, what? The person that he met. And this is just happens multiple times. Janai has been alone since then. Golden woman. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your help, by the way. I'm not going to bother you anymore. I got to go. Wait up. Maybe I'll have suggestions for cooperation for you. Looking after this action. Are you interested? For this favor, that would be appropriate. Yeah. Easy, comrade. It's not about that. I'm a member of the security service. You're safe. All right, what's the matter then? I need some help with a certain protest. Christmas is coming and I don't want to use force to deal with it, but I will have to if it's needed. And I think you'd be the right man to help me. How am I supposed to help you? I have an idea for a diplomatic solution for this problem. You'll try to talk to them, but you have to be aware that they might not want to talk and use force first. What if I don't agree? You can simply go away. Um, okay, I can help. Screw, screw it. That's an answer I expected, comrade. How are we going to exit from here? There are tons of militiamen outside. Calm down. From now on, you're with me. There is my Fiat around the corner. Come on, you'll be driving. I don't have a license. Did I ask if you have it? Follow me. Militiamen. Get him! Slow down, comrade. He's with me. And who are you to stand up for him? Security service agent. You want me to show you my papers, or are they irrelevant? I apologize, comrade. All right, gentlemen. We're done here. Problem solved. You're driving, right? Sure. Hop in and floor it? Do what? So we got the wholesome ending. No. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I don't feel like we're going much faster than when we were walking. Get out of the way, I'm in a hurry. What's going on here? There's a strike in the iron workers. Workers haven't gone out since 13th of December. And what is my purpose here? You'll appeal by to their souls as if you were one of them and make them stop. You're going to go there and talk to the strike man ma management. Yes, they do have an entire management team for this protest. And that they deal with it really seriously. What am I supposed to tell them? First of all, tell them that if they leave the ironworks today without any intervention, they won't get hurt. If we let them occupy the ironworks any longer, they might cause the blast furnace to go out. If we let that happen, ironworks is going to be closed due to restoration. Employees will be left jobless. They won't be arrested. And they won't lose their job. I guess I can try, but how am I going to get it? Comrades, let them in. Good luck. So there's a strike going on. Huh. Uh, what, where's your pass? I work in the factory across from here and I want to join. I've been here sent by the militia. I just want to talk. Actually, probably should say I work in the factory. I want to join. Oh, one moment. One of her boys says you look familiar. Get in. So this is a strike here. How's the strike going? We think about finishing it. Why so? Many people abandoned the strike when they got their salary. Some of them got arrested and we might share their fate. Perhaps it's not that bad enough idea. It's not going to change anything. Okay, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to I'm going to help strike out, you know, do a strike cuz that's I don't know if that's what I would actually do in a communist Poland, but as someone that, you know, truly believes in like unionization and stuff like that. You're going to let the ruling party for that. Um do you really want to wake up every morning in fear? Worry if you have food for your family? Push yourself to the limit. Hold on for a bit longer. You, you think that's a good idea? You want to live in such oppression? I was threatened by a security service agent and sent here to stop your protest. But I'm standing here willing to strike with you as one. He, he really sent you here? Yes, I got an offer that I couldn't refuse. Stay together. Long live the justice. The day the strike has that day the strike has ended during the leaving of the ironworks the arrests begin you let me down comrade get him the end for freedom okay well you know what let's let's go ahead and get the other uh oh it's gonna just let me continue here to get all the endings that's actually pretty dope okay so let's just see what happens if we were to do this so how's the strike going we're thinking about finishing it um, okay. Yeah, it's not a bad of idea. It's not gonna change anything. So far, the only thing that's changed is the number of helicopters patrolling this area. You're right. It won't get us anywhere. I'd like to go back to my family for Christmas. Right. It's Chris Christmas Eve tomorrow. 
I wonder if we can see them then, not to talk about spending any time with them during Christmas. If we surrender before militia invasion, they might let us go untouched. It's a bit naive of you, they already locked some of our people up, but in fact, there's a greater chance of walking out on our own legs if we finish the strike, not them. I'm more worried about my family, what if they recognize me and arrest them? In my opinion, it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense. When I was entering here, I overheard two militiamen talking about not using any force if you end the strike peacefully. Well, I guess we're done here, I just want to see my wife tonight. Well, well, comrade, I didn't expect you could make it. It's nothing. Thanks for the collaboration as payment. I got you a little gift for your daughter that you were talking about. It's in the car. Thank you so much. Come on, I'll drive you to her apartment. So this is, it's here. Merry Christmas, comrade. If you were interested, I could have work for you in New Year. We'll see. Merry Christmas. So we're, we're yeah. We beat up someone. Then the police was like, dude, this is the guy. This is the guy that could uh, stop the protest. Don't worry, man, you got this. So, okay, I'm assuming it's gonna be a very similar ending here. Hello. Mom, who's that, you know? Um, I'm gonna just say uh, she's my daughter too. Okay, so same dialogue. I'm assuming this isn't gonna change much because I don't think I really had a choice in um, what I was gonna say. Uh, dad came to give you a Christmas gift. And then, you know, why did you cheat on mom? Um, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the candy and tangerines. And this was the whole dialogue of the cheating and the relationship. I only care about my daughter. Um, going to go send her to go play outside, which I don't think is the safest thing, but, you know. Who am I? Right? I'm just a, just a father that got cheated on, apparently. Yeah, he's got money. I don't care about that. I don't care. She needs the money. Trauma. Nope. The end. Those were the days, my comrades. So did we get all the achievements? We, we didn't get all the achievements. We have three out of six of them, but I'm assuming that those were the main um, different things that I could do, right? So uh, overall, that's a you know good stop. Well, actually, let's see. Options. Continue. Oh, is this going to continue it from where? From, from the very beginning of the game. That's not continuing. That's not continuing. So, uh, you know, I, uh, this was interesting. This was really, really interesting. It definitely was not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, quite honestly. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's really, really fun to kind of deviate from the normal kind of content I make and just, you know, check out some of these games. And this game just really, really spoke to me because, you know, it was just a free game that was just teaching a little bit about the experience of communism in Poland, right? So I feel like we learned a little bit, right? Um, we learned some interesting tidbits and stuff like that and it just feels kind of cool it feels like I did just like witness a day of the life of you know some uh, father in communist Poland right and I think it's really cool and important that you know video games can do stuff like this so I really hope you guys enjoyed this I know it's very different from my other type of content but I think it's important to kind of have these experiences and kind of learn um, you know from them or just take away just you know understand that that people at different time periods and stuff have different experiences and to you know, not take anything for, uh, you know, granted, right? Because, I mean, you know, they were saying that you couldn't even buy tangerines. Don't go to Fordham because the, you know, the Polish currency wasn't worth anything. So they were having to use the U.S. dollar. So I don't know. Very, very, very interesting uh, game, and I, I honestly think I got a lot out of it. So I hope you guys saw, got something out of it, um, you know. Make, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, go to the big boy YouTubers say uh, to be notified when more content comes out. Maybe not like this, um, but you know, we like checking out stuff like this every now and then. If you like this, I'd recommend checking out our Black Book series. It's kind of similar, more of like a game game with 25 episodes in our Let's Play series, but it's all about like Slavic, Russian, uh, kind of folklore and myths and stuff like that. So that's what I would uh, recommend if you like this. Uh, and um, yeah, if you are, uh, I guess not going to be grinding out this game, but I don't know. Uh, ho ho, just hope you have a good day. I don't really know how to end this. Just hope you have a good old day.